Hey what's up guys, Chaos Theory here and in this video I wanted to make a quick video on how to use my Guild Wars launcher. This is a multi-client launcher for Guild Wars and let's get to it. So I just want to go over why would you use this over GWML, Guild Wars Multi-Launch, which become, has become the standard for multi-launching in Guild Wars. And there's two main reasons that I'd like to point out is that in Guild Wars Multi-Launch you handle clients so it has multiple installations and you just click on the installation you want to use. In my launcher I actually work out of accounts so you just add accounts and then you double click and it automatically loads the account. I find it to be more um, straightforward over just using installations and I like I, I think it's just nicer that way um, of course that's just a matter of preference in the end second one is the dat patch now Guild Wars multi launch had a dat patch but mine is much more complete I would say so what the dat patch does is that it kills out all rights and ownership of the dat file so that other running installations of GW uh, of Guild Wars that are off of the same executable can write to the DAT which means that you can have one installation of Guild Wars and you can run as many accounts as you want you can run as many clients as you want um, this is good for disk space obviously because each um, Guild Wars installation takes about like four gigabytes of data which in this day and age our disk space is pretty cheap but that adds up anyways so let's get to it so you'll want to click download and it'll take you to the github release page once you get here just go to the latest release and click on the gwlauncher.zip do not worry about the source code unless you want to develop onto it it is an open source project you can either download the source code as a zip or a tar file depending on what you want to do or you can also go to just the GW Launcher main page and git clone it or do whatever. It's a git repository. So, anyways, so download that and unzip it into a new folder. In this case, I just have a new folder here, which I'm using for this tutorial. And you'll have two files gwlauncher.exe and gwml.dll. Make sure that these two stay together and yeah run gwlauncher.exe uh, for the first time it'll generate an accounts.json this is where all your account data and information is saved and you'll be greeted with an empty list view so in order to add it and remove and edit accounts what you have to do is right click on the main list view here and this will bring up a menu with a bunch of options uh, you have add new, edit selected, remove selected. They're pretty straightforward. Click add new. You get this new add account window. And you type in your email. I'm going to make up a stupid one. Password, your character. And you go to your Guild Wars path. So you can actually copy paste the gw.exe path that you want to use for this account in here. Or you can click this button and it'll open up an open dialog and you just go to the guild wars.exe and you click it and you hit open and it pastes it in there for you now you have ex args which is any extra arguments that you want to use for example no sound or dot bmp if you want higher quality uh, screenshots or just any other command line arguments other than email password and character that you want to have in there and then you have the checkbox for applied dat patch now this decides whether this client is going to be running the dat patch so like I said it will allow you to run multiple clients off of one installation there are side effects to this for example you will not be able to write anything which means that you can't save any screenshots you can't save any templates uh, if you have an update it will hang because it can't write the update to the dat file 
um, if you have If you modify some settings, um, it won't be able to save it to the DAT files, so the settings will not carry over to the next run. Um, and for example, if you crash for some weird reason, um, you will not get the option to reconnect the instance like you usually do. So those are side effects that you have to consider when choosing to use the DAT patch or not. There's also a lot of controversy on whether the DAT patch is EULA friendly, does it modify the DAT, does it do this, does it do that. I'm probably going to make another video covering that in the near future. And I'll get very in depth on what the multi launcher actually does to the Guild Wars client. So you can make the decision whether or not you consider it to be EULA friendly or bannable or whatever to you so yeah so once you have all your info filled out just hit add and it'll be added to the list view uh, once you do that just double click it and the guild wars will launch and will have the account info already loaded in your account name password and security question character name of course this is an action this isn't an actual account, so it's not going to log in. It's going to give me errors. But anyways, another note is that the Guild Wars launcher will over... It'll change the window title to the character name that it's loading into. I like this because it's just easier to organize multiple clients being open at once. They're all not just Guild Wars. Um, there's no way to turn this off at the moment, but if there's any desire for me for that being toggleable I'll add that this is actively being developed so any questions you can add wherever that I can see anyways so let's close that so that's one account of course you can add more accounts with whatever and they will continue to be added to the list um, if you start getting to the end of the list, this GUI will actually start expanding to accommodate. You will not have to scroll. I hope you don't have enough accounts, accounts so that it runs off the page. If you do, well, why do you have so many accounts? That's weird. Anyways. And I guess, tell me, I might make a scroll bar, but I hate scroll bars. Anyways. So... You can also right click and hit edit selected. It'll have already it already filled out. You can modify if you want any information. Also, just a quick note, right now the password is unprotected, but I plan on making it a passworded field. Uh which means that it'll all be dots um in the near future in the next revision or whatever. So you can modify it, hit add, and it'll actually update the uh, account information and then you also have remove selected you click it, it removes the account simple enough launch default guild wars client what it does is that it launches the last open guild wars client what's registered as your guild wars client in the registry uh, you click that and it'll launch it with no arguments so it'll just be a blank login screen <laughs> it puts in null. Anyways, it's not supposed to do that. I'll figure that out. Anyways, that's what that's supposed to do. Anyways, so that's about it for the actual launcher. Um, so, another thing to mention is that all your account data will be within accounts.json, which is just a JSON file if you know what that is. Um, all your information is here. Um, it's a JSON array, so you can actually just copy paste information and fill it out yourself if you want to. Um, and it's a pretty easy format, so you could probably do it easily. Um, so yeah, so you can modify it. And if you do, you don't have to restart the launcher. You can just right click and say refresh account and it'll reload the JSON account. For example, let's just make it something different so that we can see. 
you refresh and it actually has the actual account information so that's about it for the actual launcher I'll make a new video on getting more in depth of what everything is the DLL and the EXE and everything um, I also plan on making another video on plugins specifically on how to make Guild Wars toolbox automatically load into your game on launch with my launcher so stay tuned for that and hope you enjoyed the video thank you